Warning, the following video contains 500 million spoilers. Hey guys, it's Nekipu again, obsessing over the new lore details revealed in Enconomia Exploration Quest. Anjo, the clerk from the Abyss Order that we meet in the quest, stated that there once was a single civilization in Teyvat. And this phrase explains a lot. The same symbolism, the same architecture, the same religion that we see around the world of Teyvat belonged to a civilization that inhabited these lands before Celestia and the Seven Gods came there. I will refer to this civilization's culture as a proto-culture of Teyvat. Let's see the examples and learn about its symbolism. The examples of the proto-culture architecture and design would be the Kingdom of Selvindagnir on Dragonspine, Thousand Winds Temple in Mondstadt, the Nameless Island in the waters northeast from Mondstadt, the underground buildings under Seirai and Tsurumi Islands, the astronomical tower at the archipelago, entrances to the domains and domain architecture, Musk Reef, endless mechanisms around Teyvat. Their most eye-catching features are classicism resembling architecture, Celtic symbols, same materials used for buildings, and murals with the same motif of stars. Celtic symbols used are the Tree of Life, the Celtic Knot, the Triquetra, and Celtic Cross. Pursuing this even further, the new interesting lore detail that we can link to the protoculture symbolism is that the Triquetra, among other meanings, can symbolize Trinity, which can be linked to the three shades of the primordial one. In other variation, the three parts of the Triquetra can symbolize three positions of the sun on the sky, which can be linked to the goddess of time. It's fascinating to see how the two cultures of Mondstadt and Enconomia evolutioned from the protoculture in different ways. The old Mondstadt's architecture still bears the classicism concepts, but the symbolism begins to change. We no longer see the geometrical details of Celtic symbols, but they are replaced with more intricate patterns and a new sort of cross mulling. Most likely the new symbolism came with the new god who ruled in the old Mondstadt, the Caribbean that replaced the goddess of time in religion of the people of this region. After the Caribbean era, we can see the architecture in Mondstadt change to Gothic one, in different variation that we can see both in the walls of the city, that obviously were built first, and the more religious buildings of the city connected to their new god Barbados. It should also be mentioned that the culture surrounding the cult of Barbados has some unnecessarily Christian details. Enconomia, on the other side, took a different route in its developing. After being moved under the waters, people of Enconomia kept the motifs of the protoculture in their architecture. Their most likely last building, Dainichi Mikoshi, was made, as we can see, in a sort of fantasy brutalism style, to underline the monumental and divine meaning of it. As a quick mention, I wanted to show the similarity between the rare music motifs of the upper world that we can hear in North East Mondstadt and the music of Enconomia.
I am not educated in music, but I personally felt the connection between the tunes, mostly because of the instruments used. Might be just my imagination, but I want to believe that it's another detail of the proto-culture and proto-religion of Teyvat. Thank you for watching, there definitely would be some other videos on Enkademia soon. If you have any questions you want me to investigate, feel free to reach out in the comments or on my Instagram.